Oh, I'm gonna do that one more time. It's super great. At Evernote, we try to focus on what we're presenting rather than how to present it. The majority of our presentations are pretty informal and generally to a small group of people with the express goal of moving projects forward quickly. And that's why we made presentation mode. It's the best way to show off your thoughts in a beautiful and simple way. The great thing about presentation mode is, with a simple push of the space bar, it figures out what the next section is and it will intelligently move forward through your presentation based on the layout of your content. Use the mouse to point out a specific part of your presentation. It acts just like a laser pointer with trails of light and everything. You can take notes on one monitor while presenting everything on the second monitor. The notes that you're taking show up in the presentation, so in case you create work items or follow-up as you're going through the content, everyone in the room can see them and be on the same page. With presentation mode, the only thing you see is your content, but displayed gorgeously. The meaning gets across, and you don't have any other extra noise. We use presentation mode every day here at Evernote to make our meetings faster and more efficient. And we hope that it'll do the same for you. That meeting shot was totally real, by the way. That's how all of our meetings go. <laughs> Where we all just kind of sit there on the table and like nod while the camera pans across the room like that. Uh, People are just so used to us constantly filming video everywhere. I think half of the people in that shot actually thought they were in a real meeting. Uh, but the idea behind presentation mode is this. Basically, you know, we want to make the world smarter. We keep saying this. We want to make the world smarter. So we have to ask, well, where are the pockets of stupidity? Like, where are the highest impact things that we can, that we can punch at uh, to make the world slightly less stupid? And as soon as you think about that, well, it's obvious, like, well, what's the stupidest thing in the world? Well, it's meetings, right? Most meetings and most companies have just become this horrible, horrible thing. And the reason for that is because in the past couple of decades, presentation software has kind of warped our brains. It's kind of broken us. It's made people think that every meeting is a pitch meeting. That's the basic problem. Like, the basic problem is when you're using PowerPoint, it's not that PowerPoint is bad software. It's that it's PowerPoint is good software, and Keynote is even better software for making pitches. And when you want to pitch something, when you want to stand here on the stage in front of a lot of people and go one slide at a time, it's actually pretty good. But 99% of meetings shouldn't be pitches. 99% of meetings aren't about convincing people. They're not about simplifying things. They're not about pitching. They're about making decisions, about sharing information, about actually collaborating, about sitting there and nodding while a camera pans in front of you. <laughs> that should be 99% of meetings. And when you, when you force people to use PowerPoint to present the meetings, you're making the meetings stupid. Because you're forcing people to say, here's the work that you've done, and now I'm going to translate it point by point and simplify it and make bullets and make slide transitions. And you've already got all that stuff in Evernote. So instead you said, well, let's just have a button where you already have all the stuff in Evernote and you can just push one button and you can just see your actual content in your full thoughts, but presented in a super nice way that you can follow along uh, with, uh, with, with uh, the laser pointers, uh, handling documents and images beautifully, handling fonts beautifully, cleaning everything up. That's what, that's what it was all about. And I think it works great. We build things for ourselves at Evernote and by that definition, I think presentation mode is our most successful feature in terms of as soon as it hit super early alpha, everyone in the company started using it all the time without being told to do it. So I'm super excited about it. There's one point about it in particular that's great, which is uh, if you select a bunch of notes, so let's say you just select a bunch of notes, uh, you get this uh, multi-select view, which you've all seen, and then one of the new items on there is create a table of contents note. So let's say you're preparing for a board meeting and uh, you want to share a bunch of documents, you just make a notebook or whatever, select a bunch of notes. In one button press, you got a table of contents note, which you can then just mail that whole notebook. Uh, people can see it ahead of time, they can make comments, and then when you actually have a meeting, you can just hit presentation mode on the table of contents note and just run your whole presentation that way. It's really uh, beautiful. Uh, my second favorite feature in presentation mode, my first favorite feature is the table of contents, my second favorite feature is the laser pointer. Uh, which we spent a lot of time kind of obsessively making that they just feel really fun. Uh, playing with laser pointers is cool. You know, all cats know it. Uh, YouTube knows it. It's just the fundamental truth.
Uh, and there's three colors. There's uh, you know, red, uh, blue, and uh, green, because uh, those are the three canonical colors of lightsabers. <laughs> they are similar to, but legally distinct from the canonical colors of lightsabers. And some of you might say, oh, but there's more colors of lightsabers, just like purple lightsabers. I'm like, no, there aren't. Those movies should, those movies should never have been made. <laughs> so, everyone wants to be your external brain. We want to make you smarter. By the way, I, I can't. Um, I'm super, super, super optimistic of looking forward.